Hey, 10th grade. Um, this is your makeup work for the Animalia test. And today I'm going to show you what kinds of information I'm looking for when you're adding information to each of your lines of code. And a lot of people have questions about this. I'm not going to post any other videos for this. Once you watch this video, you can keep adding information for each one of your 12 different animal sprites. Okay, so let me show you how to do one and then you can work on it this week and maybe a little bit into next week until you get it done and complete it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Scratch and sign in. And go to the little folder that says my stuff. And we want to go to our Animalia project. We've already added our sprites. We want to see inside. OK, so yesterday we added our sprites and we added a sound on here. OK, so today what we're going to do is we're going to be adding information. Now, um, right now the bear is highlighted in blue. So my bear represents mammals. Just because this is a bear, it doesn't mean I want facts about bears. The bear is just a representative. It's just showing one example of a mammal. So I want facts about mammals. I don't necessarily want facts about bears. So something that all mammals share. So the first fact about mammals is um, I want to find it from a reliable source. So I went to National Geographic. I looked in the search engine facts about mammals. And this is a reliable source. So going to this website here, Mammal Facts and Pictures. Oh, look, so cool. Facts about mammals. Among the most adaptable animals on the planet. So that's a great quote. I'm going to highlight this, Control C. I'm going to come to my Scratch project. I'm going to Control V that. I'm putting it in quotation marks. And I'm going to add a one. Now, usually you would have had the page number because of that packet of notes, but we don't have that right now. So we have to cite our evidence another way. And then I'm going to go to my next one. I'm going to go to the website um, found on every continent and in every ocean. Awesome. That's a great fact. So I'm going to highlight this. Control C. Go to Animalia. Control V. Go ahead and shift nine for the one because it's the same website. Shift zero to close my parentheses and put my quotation marks in there. Okay, and then I need my third fact about mammals because a bear is a mammal and that's what I'm talking about. Oops, wrong site. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, Despite these differences, mammals all share four traits that are shown in the diagram below. They all have hair, mammary glands, a hinged jaw, and three tiny middle ear bones. That's so interesting. Mammals are so cool. Control C, and I'm not just saying that because I am one. And Control V. And I want they, oops, have. And then I want my quotation marks because this is the part that's not my words. And then I do shift nine, put a one because it's from the same website and shift zero to close my parentheses. And then I think I want to add an extra block that just kind of like cites my evidence. And some of you guys came up with a better way to do this in the presentations that I saw but I'm gonna do it this way. So I have this control C, copy, control V. And I'm gonna just put a number one here. Okay. And then um, after you guys do your three facts for all the 12 different animals, I'll make another video on how to add sounds and even some actions if you guys are interested. So now when I click on the sprite, you see the facts over here? And I've even cited my evidence. Okay? All right. Bye, guys. Hope this helps.